Hello and welcome to the coronavirus update for the 11th of May 2020, where today we're mostly going to be looking at Elon Musk suing California over the closure of his Tesla plant. But before we get on to that, a quick summary of what's going on in the rest of the world. So there are about 4 million cases in the world and about a third of a million people have died from this. Uh, I did get a specific request to take a look at Canada. And it is actually sort of fairly interesting to compare Canada and America uh, for several reasons. First of all, Canada has maybe a more socialized healthcare system than America. But there are other differences too, but we'll, we'll come to those in a second. Uh, broad scale comparisons, broad brush comparisons... Canada's got about a tenth of the population of America. Canada's got about 20 million people, 30 million people. America, 300 million. So it's, it's more or less a factor of 10 difference in the population between the two. And broad brush, you know, Canada's got about 100,000 confirmed cases. America, a million. It's more or less a factor of 10 almost getting on for 20. But, you know, then you've got to factor in other things that, you know, how well are you doing on the testing, and all that sort of thing. So they're, they're fairly comparable in the number of cases, and they're fairly comparable in the number of deaths as well. If you sort of, you know, you used to add a zero to this, you get up to about 50,000, which is fair. Yeah, I mean, on, on the sort of comparisons that we can do from these numbers, it's fairly samey. And I should remind people again, because I, I see it so much on Twitter that, you know, People, um, especially early on, you know, you believe the China data, you're crazy. You don't believe any of this data, right? It all comes with error bars on it, right? But that doesn't mean there's no information in it. So, uh, you know, within the basis of comparison, America and Canada are doing sort of fairly comparably here. Now, there is this thing that uh, some huge fraction of Canadians, it's something like two-thirds of Canadians live within... 100 miles, 100 kilometers of the border, that sort of thing. Uh, so, you know, this is maybe another reason why you expect them to be fairly samey. But Canada also has a lot of its population focused in cities, Vancouver, Calgary, um, Toronto, and Quebec, I think, are the big ones. Um, so, you know, you expect viruses to do better in cities where there's already the big population density. You know, you get into some of the big empty flatlands, uh, yeah, in in the empty lands here, it's almost impossible for the virus to spread because people are naturally socially distancing. <clears throat> and, okay, so, and looking elsewhere in the world, we take a look at Europe. Europe is still doing fantastically. Comparatively, um, Germany is doing great. UK, I, I did get a lot of people who complained and said, um, complained. they said that there were lots of people taking the lockdown in the UK very seriously. And yeah, I've got to take that on board, right? The bottom line is I, I, I talk to some people in the UK and they give me a feedback, which I... It's anecdotal, but also maybe representative. Uh, you know, there, there's no reason to expect that there should be a greatly skewed bias there. Um, anyway, so, yeah, I got a lot of people saying that the a lot of people in the UK take the lockdown very seriously. However, the numbers don't greatly reflect. Um, they don't look like other places in Europe. Uh, now, the one that I didn't touch on, uh, which is going to maybe overtake America, and in not such... Uh, it might not take such a long time to do it either, is Russia. You take a look at Russia on the cumulative cases, and thank you very much. Just waiting for that. Um, the... Yeah, Russia's doing a fairly decent job of going exponential, and it's already a quarter of a million cases. 
And this, you, again, you've got to factor in, uh, these are the confirmed cases so far. How are they doing? Uh, you, you have to take best guesses on a lot of these things. Um, and uh, I think there's, um, again, I, I have limited feedback, but the feedback that I've had from Russia is uh, they don't have enough tests. So, um, yeah, Russia is exponential, whereas places like the United States are sort of, you know, convincingly linear or maybe even slightly decreasing. Slightly decreasing, it must be said, at, you know, 20,000 cases a day. Um, yeah, Russia, they've doubled in just over a week. So, you know, another week. Uh, Russia, Russia's got about half the population of America, 150 million, million people in Russia. Versus <clears throat> 300 million in uh, the U.S., but of course, Moscow is a monstrous place. I forget what it is. 10 million in... Uh, Moscow might even be 20. Uh, it, it's huge. So, you know, there's... Um, you, you expect certain uh, granularities. The You know, if, if you take a look at the American numbers, they are kind of skewed in that one-third of the cases were in New York. And there are a third of the early ones, so there's there's essentially st at least two superimposed curves on all of this. Okay, so uh, that's roughly what we're looking at. I still think that India, uh, yeah, if you're worried about Russia not having enough tests, India is uh, not only is it, it growing hugely. It's probably an order of magnitude underreported. Again, again, they just sort of, you know, what what are your best estimates? Um, but yeah, be, it's best guess. I, I just want to make it clear that. But I, I just there there are a billion people in India, and they don't have uh, the the most advanced medical system. So uh, anyway. Today, what I mostly wanted to look at was Elon Musk, who, you know, he has famously been anti-coronavirus right from the start. You know, he's tweeting, you know, coronavirus panic is dumb. And this was before it killed uh, 80,000 Americans. I mean, he still thinks that, you know, eh, whatever, you know, we'll just get on with it. And yeah, there, there is actually a genuine balance to be had here. The, you know, you take a look at this number in terms of annual smoking deaths. Um, and annual smoking deaths is something like half a million in America. And uh, there, is, there are also significant differences. You know, if you're smoking, largely you're just killing. You know, the risks you're taking are just with yourself. If you're infectious with the coronavirus and you go out and infect other people... It's other people you're killing, so um, yeah, there, there there are there are sensible reasons to you know keep this in perspective, and there are sensible reasons that you have to take it seriously. Uh, the most other notable one being that it's contagious. That if you actually don't do any of this sort of um, social distancing or whatever. Uh, America would have by now basically gone completely... Ex yeah, the exponent would have just continued from here. And by now, you'd have infected the entire country. And you would have, yeah, at least added another zero onto this. You'd be looking at almost a million dead. And those million dead wouldn't be, uh, you know, just the old and the sick. You would also have a lot of... Uh, you know, people sort of cut down uh, before their time in that. Anyway, so uh, Elon Musk is th suing this county and also threatening to move uh, to Nevada or something unless they sort of treat him better or something, which is, first of all, uh, he expects to be treated... Um, Differently because he's rich, which always kind of rubs people up the wrong way. Uh, now, 
yeah, I've had lots of grievances with Elon Musk. Um, most notably, oh, massively overpromising, particularly on the Hyperloop. We, in terms of Tesla, yeah, it's an electric car, and electric cars actually make quite a lot of sense in certain parts of the world. And in America, you there 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 are maps that show you this. The where is solar really worth it? And in this portion of America, solar is bloody fantastic. There's lots of sun, lots of empty space to put solar panels on, which, you know, can be easier to maintain than putting them on roofs of houses. Uh, you know, you get out into Las Vegas, and there are all sorts of solar farms around here. Some of them are absolutely fantastic. You uh, driving in to Las Vegas. Where can I see the solar farms? It's this road. Yeah, it's the interstate. You come in on the interstate and these guys here, these are the most fantastic things ever. They're a bunch of mirrors and they all focus onto uh, basically a black thing in the middle which gets really hot and it pumps around and generates energy. They were experimental, and yeah, there's some doubt about the, the efficiency of them. But as you can see, it's not exactly like uh, there's a great uh, competition for the land out here. Um, also, by the way, uh, it, it's something that's always kind of amusing. Harsh on the birds, it must be said. But because there's some huge amount of light focused on here, when the birds fly through, they basically just burst into flames. Um and they call them streamers or something because, you know, nice little stream of smoke comes off them. But, uh, yeah, these are just your regular soul farms. Um, and they're pretty decent out in the desert. They really are. Um, and if... So, so for Tesla, right, the reason that Tesla was set up in California... It's a dumb place to set up a car plant. It's expensive. You want to set up a car plant where the labor is cheap, but there are two reasons to do it in California. First of all, this is actually not a bad place for... Yeah, if you're looking for a place for electric vehicles that run on solar or get charged from solar electricity, this is a pretty decent place to do it. And the second one is, of course, you want it to be, uh, you know, with all the tech companies in California. So there, there was no virtuous um, whatever here. It's This is kind of not a bad place to set up your... Um, and Tesla had been doing okay. I don't know if the Tesla shares... There we go. Tesla shares, um, going back oof, lots of years, they were sort of, you know, chuntering along fairly happily. And then they did really, really well. Um, somewhere around here is when Elon Musk got stripped of his ability to be a CEO for Tesla. Um, you know, after tweeting that his shares would be four hundred and twenty dollars, which is basically a marijuana reference, um, and that, yeah, I mean, his randomness makes the shares go up and down all sorts. So anyway, um, so Tesla have been doing absolutely fantastically recently. So their share price has gone up almost a factor of four. And this was the crash with the coronavirus, which well, yeah, didn't halve his share price, but it lost you know, two thirds, um, sorry, a third, that sort of thing. And he's basically sprung back. Yeah, so Tesla's been doing absolutely fantastically. I'm not entirely sure what the details on all that are, but um, yeah, and it, it, it was about here when he said his company was overvalued and it knocked. Yeah, this little twitch here was basically a tweet of his that knocked fourteen billion dollars off the value of the company. As you see, it doesn't really matter. He's he's doing fantastically with Tesla, um, but now he's threatening to not only sue California, but to move the headquarters somewhere else. Which uh, the the thing is. California has actually done pretty well with the coronavirus. You take a look at the states by population, you find that California is the most populated state with about 40 million people. And New York has about half the number of people. It's got about 20 million people. You take a look at the coronavirus deaths by state, 
and it's a complete population inversion. The New York has 20,000 dead, whereas California has about 2,000 dead, which means, you know, there's a factor of 10. Even though California has got twice as many people in it, they've got one-tenth of the number of deaths of New York. Now, you know, part of that, of course, is New York City is a, yeah, has a huge population density and all that sort of thing. Part of it will be the climate. Part of it is the way that California actually uh, got on top of this earlier and basically imposed things like lockdowns. And you can see that, yeah, I mean, if everywhere had basically got no deaths, then there is the temptation to say, why did we go through all this social distancing if no one's going to die? Um, the problem is that there are people who were just a little bit later. Uh, I mean, you, you take a look at it. An order of magnitude with the world spread rate of the virus is 10 days. 10 days of inaction takes you from that to that. Um, and again, you know, coming back to my favorite, if there wasn't South Korea that got its first case of the coronavirus on the same day as America and got away with 250 deaths, while America is sitting on 70,000, um, you know, you, you could well say, uh, who could have seen it coming? Well, clearly... If you, you did take it seriously early and get on top of it. By the way, um, uh, South Korea uh, has been talking about getting new outbreaks, as has Wuhan. So Wuhan, uh, you know, they basically stopped, started easing the lockdown. They've, they've had uh, outbreaks as well, which I think is, uh, this is just going to be the name of the game for the foreseeable future. Um you need to just uh, do the contact tracing and uh, keep the the social distancing going. Anyway, I did see some, uh, yeah, it's this this guy kind of got me a, got my goat up. So this is Benny, who will come to who Benny is in a second. This is just one of the tweets that I. I saw that just pushed so many of the wrong buttons. Tesla employs 20,000 Californians. That's nice. Um, it's the last car, manufa car manufacturer in California. Yes, but that's because all the car manufacturers do their manufacturing where the labor is more competitive. It's just kind of like saying, you know, there's a reason why all the smartphones are made in China. It's because the labor is cheaper there. Um and so saying that it's the last car manufacturer in California is just dumb. Anyway, uh, is the only U.S. car manufacturer still forced to shut down? Well, yeah, California's actually been doing a pretty good job on this. California has yet to provide any legal basis for closing uh, of businesses. Well, there was this thing called the coronavirus and Tesla is 100% emission free, which is just straight up bullshit, right? Yeah, uh, th this is kind of like saying that electricity is 100% emission free. No, depends on how you generate your electricity. If you're going to generate your electricity by burning coal, then electric cars are really not that clean. Uh, if you're going to do it via solar, then they're still not 100% emission free. There are still emissions tied up with the manufacturing of the solar panels, manufacturing of the cars, and all that sort of thing. But they're an awful lot better. And it should be said, you know, electric cars in the right venue are pretty decent. Yeah, I've got no real um, grievance against electric cars. If you're going, if you're driving long distances, the 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 charge time is a killer. Anyway, so at that point, I looked into this guy and love my family god and pipe tobacco uh, huh. and it was this thing that got he's from turning point um usa uh student movement for freedom free markets limited government which is all very fine and well but 
um, you know, we know how that works out in the event of a pandemic. If you don't do anything, you're looking at not 80,000 dead, uh, but, you know, a million, two million, that sort of thing. And that's if you're lucky. Um, the studies so far suggest that uh, you, you, this thing, you're not guaranteed immunity to it. If you get it, your immune system forgets about it fairly quickly and you get it again in, whatever, six months or a year's time. It's In that way, it's more comparable to the cold. And, you know, it, it really is, you're just hoping that a more virulent form of the coronavirus doesn't pop up because, you know, still, to this very day, there is no effective treatment for the coronavirus. If you get it, um, there's really not much you can do about it. You just roll the dice and, and hope for the best. So anyway, at that, I think I'm going to call it quits. Um, if you found that useful, drop a thumbs up on this video. Uh, if you like to support this thing on this stuff on Patreon, links below. And as ever, thanks for watching.